Hello everybody, my name is Daniel from Echo Power, and today we're going to be looking at an unboxing of our new 400 watt hour solar portable generator. So let's go ahead and dive into what we have here. Alright, first of all we have a warranty card with our user manual. We're going to also include three boxes, um, just containing a bunch of cables and adapters that will be useful for uh, the generator here. We're going to have a bag for storing the generator, as well as carrying the generator to different places. It's a very useful, very handy feature. And finally, we have the generator itself. So I'm going to take this out. It's packaged really nicely. Alright. And there we are. The generator. So... Featured on the generator, uh, this is encased in an aluminum body and this really helps with keeping the battery cool and uh, dissipating heat and that's really important for the longevity of the battery and also uh, making sure the battery doesn't catch on fire for instance. So if we go to the side here, we have two AC outputs, um, three prong. In the front we have four USB outputs, two DC outputs and one DC car output port. We also have the LCD screen here, on and off button, DC on and off button, and an AC on and off button as well. And if we go to the side here, you can see that we have uh, several ways in charging the battery. You could um, plug it in through our cords here. You can use a solar panel cord that comes with the box um, to charge the battery. And you also have a port where you can plug in jumper cables to start um, a dead battery of a car. Uh, and we include the cables in that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cables that are included in the box. Put that in the side. So first we have just a power cable. And now this is going to be the standard way of charging the battery here. Um, you're going to place one end right here in the input side and this cable will connect to this brick and you would plug it into a wall that uses standard AC output. So that is a standard method in charging. Now our other box here, what do we got? So yeah, we have our alligator clips now. This is going to go right where you have the port here. It's going to connect right in there, and as you can see, uh, it will flash red and green, which means that it is optional, or operational, that is. Um, so this is really useful if your car battery has died, uh, if you don't have jumper cables, or there's nobody that has jumper cables around you. Maybe you're in an isolated location. Um, this is really handy for connecting uh, to your battery and having your battery charged all the way. So it's very helpful especially if you're in isolated situations uh, that's featured on the battery. Now lastly, we have a way to charge the portable solar generator from your car. If your car has a cigarette lighter, you can plug this into the input port, plug the other end into that cigarette lighter, and it'll charge the battery as well. And lastly, we have our solar panel charging cables. Now these use MC4 cable adapters. You could use any solar panel that has MC4 cables. Um, right now we got, we have our AC, AC uh, Echo Power solar panel that uses the MC4 cables. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate. Basically you'll take the cables and plug them in and get the other side and you'll plug it into the input right here. There you go, it'll be charging. So let's go ahead and unplug that. Just gonna set this, uh, oh, I'll set it over here. Now let's go ahead and turn this on. So what you're gonna do is go to the power button, you're gonna hold this down until the LCD screen lights up. Now, like I said, this, the battery is a 400 watt hour battery. It's really powerful, it can charge a lot of things. 
So I kind of have a couple stuff here I want to show you. I have a fan. We have two computers right here, and it's connected to a power strip. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, turn on AC power here by holding the button, and it'll make a green dot. So that means AC is on, and you're just going to plug it in. And as you can see, the fan turns on, the laptop is charging, and this laptop is charging as well. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that in. Now I'm also going to turn on the DC function. Right now DC is off, so I'm going to hold down DC. And as you can see, the green light has turned on, and DC output is now on. So we have a couple things here. You know, you can plug in as many things as you want. So you got, so I have a portable speaker here. I'm gonna plug that into the USB. I have, you know, I have a cable here connecting my phone and a graphing calculator. So that can plug into the USB as well. Borrowed my friend's phone right here. That can plug into the USB as well. And finally, you know, if you have a drone or anything, um, I know drone batteries run out a lot and um, you're going to need to charge it frequently, so you can charge a drone battery as well. Plug that in right here. And as you can see, everything is powering on, everything is charging, everything is working. So it's really handy. You can plug in a lot of things to this battery and um, you'll get reliable power. So let's go ahead and turn this off. And then I'll go ahead and unplug these. Just get out of the out of the way, you guys. So that's our new product, our 400 watt hour solar portable power generator. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you next time. Video Shopping Network, an Amazon affiliate. To see this product on Amazon, click the link in the video description below. You'll be able to see current pricing, product reviews, and any special deals. Desktop users should see the Amazon Quick Link below the video. Mobile users will need to click the little down arrow below the video first.